And this session really is around how to deal with being accused of cheating and how to keep pushing forward, you know, because at the end of the day, when you're playing games online, um, if you are beating certain people um, because of either their status or because they believe that they are better than what they are or or whatever it is, whatever reason it is, um, you have to be aware of who you're beating or beware of who you beat when you're playing chess. Because there is this God complex that some players do have where they believe they cannot be beat by anybody. And then also there's the concept of, well, if you're below me in the ratings, you cannot beat me. Um, again, that's kind of like a God complex of, well, you know, at the end of the day, I've got a higher number than you, so you cannot win. It's this number thing again. So some people just cannot take losing, um, uh, especially to somebody like me. Um, so you may have nobody in chess. So yeah, that's the pain of playing online. And this is why I'm a little bit wary of playing in the account. It also adds on to the why I am more focused on just playing the casual games where I'm not in the account. You don't know who you're playing. And there is benefits to it as well because you don't know who you're playing at the end of the day. And there are really there are some strong players on there when you're playing as well. You know, playing the anonymous stuff. So it's not easy games. I've not had easy games all the way through playing anonymous ones. Um when I get the opportunity to actually record, I'll record um, live. Um, if I'm playing on my phone, then obviously I'm not recording. Um, the recording tool for using on the phone actually has like a watermark on. So I can't be bothered trying to get the watermark off. I think you have to be a paid member to get the watermark off. So when I'm playing on my phone, obviously, then I'm, you know, I'm not getting, you're not seeing the recordings. So I don't record every game. And then there's games where I will record, where um, even though I've taken a disadvantage, um, it's good enough to show because at the end of the day, I want to learn from it too. I want to have a memory of it too, so that I try not to do that sort of thing again. Or it might just be a little bit humorous and just makes me laugh for that moment. Like I said, it's not a rating ladder climb thing or anything like that. So we probably won't do as many account um, games as we might want to do. Um, playing anonymous is wonderful. It, you're playing the game of chess. Going to the account, you're actually playing against a number. No matter what level you're at, you're playing against a number. And that number, whether it's above you or below you, they want to take you down because of that number. They're not interested in the chess, they're just interested in the number. And if you beat them because you're lower than them and you beat them convincingly, then you take the risk that, oh, instant look at that performance of accuracies, mistakes, blunders. If you score very highly on there, then bam, it's so easy for them to report you. And for me, just playing the simple art of chess is that's all I want to do but because of the people that I have beaten and probably the way that I've beaten them they just can't take that so then they come to try and take it down which is a shame and but I'm still here I'm still playing my chess and still enjoying still enjoying the chess so yep just to highlight I do not use any assisted toolings, I don't use engines or anything like that, I don't have anybody talking in my ear, I don't have chat telling me moves or anything like that, um, so there's no guidance, no nothing, no prompts, no anything, scripts anywhere on my screen, nowhere that I have access to anything when I'm playing my chess online. So that's me and the whole chess unfair violation type situation um, I hope that's as frank as I can well put it out there at the end of the day and looking to enjoy some more chess within the account and um, just see how we get Let's on just push through with the night okay, good. 
for a flank attack. Let's bring the knight up. Bishop. This castle. Oh, oh. Bit too quick there on the mouse. I wasn't actually going to do that. He's got a two on one here. Let's go there. Let's attack. And let's attack. And attack. Let's take the bishop off the board. It doesn't have any support, but it can get trapped thought they would have gone for the trap but we're not going to take this pawn because we're probably still getting trapped so we will come back into safety probably isn't but we don't have time to think of any of that shall we bring the bishop through give the king a bit of company Let's keep the bishop with some company Let's push the pawn, make some space for the bishop. Let's take this pawn. Just the rook defending at the moment. Do we swing across to attack this pawn? I'm going to go for it. I don't think there's anything stopping that is the checkmate nice one 